okay so at this video we'll be talking about um, counting sample points or uh, this is a continuation of our discussion in um, prob probability wherein we're gonna be discussing about how to count uh, sample points and how to predict the number of outcomes that a given um, uh, si situation could have okay first we have here a uh, uh, definition of a rule so that is the counting rule or the multiplication rule so if an operation can be performed in n sub 1 ways and if for each of these ways a second operation can be performed in n sub 2 ways then the two operations can be performed together in n sub 1 times n sub 2 ways okay so this this rule basically means that for example if we have a certain um if, if we have a certain set of sample points for example we will call our sample points as n1 okay n sub 1 then n sub 1 has its own combination or, or has its own number of outcomes for example this is a uh, color so three colors red blue white okay then we have also another um, set of uh, another set or another event where in the, the sample points are for example numbers so have one two three so this one so the number of ways in which we can get the the combination of these two is given as n sub one times n sub 2 so basically it is equal to this one 1 2 3 so this is 3 this is also 1 2 3 so this is 3 so this is times 3 times 3 this is 9 so if you are going to have the sample space of that one the combination of that one okay so we will have for example we have red 1 then you can also have blue one and white one then we can have red two blue two and white two then we have um red three blue three and white three so if we will count our sample points or our element, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So basically we have 9 ways. So this uh, counting rule is a method in which we are going to know how many sample points are present in the given sample space. Sample space. So if we are going to extract that one or we are going to write down the sample space so basically the number of sample points that we have is equal to the give uh, equal to the number which is um solved using this multiplication rule okay so we have here an example in how many sample points or how many sample points are there in the sample space when a pair of dice is thrown once okay so let's have our solution so we have a pair of dice so therefore we have two dice or two dice so that is a pair of dice so that the plural for uh die is dice so we have our n sub one so if we're gonna throw a single die or a die then the outcome of that will have six no? because the number of a die is a number from 1 to 6 so we have six possible outcomes for the first die for the second die we have also six now if you are going to get the possible outcomes of the two together so that will be n sub 1 times n sub 2 we could just write that one as n sub 1 n sub 2 so we have 6 times 6 so this will be 36 ways so this is the answer okay we go to the next a, de a developer of new subdivision offers prospective home buyers a choice of Tudor Rustec 
colonial and traditional exteriors styling in ranch, two-story, and split-level floors. In how many different ways can a buyer order one of these homes? Okay, so basically we are on the business of real estate. No? So uh, the problem states that a buyer could choose um, two types of uh, styling, exterior styling. So we have two door, and no, it's not two but four types of exterior um, styling. So we have two door, rustic, colonial, and traditional. So that is four and those style could be applied if the buyer will buy a ranch a two-story or a split level for plants so we are going to get in how many ways can a single buyer choose no how how many possible choice that the buyer could have okay so we have our solution so first our n sub one is the number of choices on the style that a buyer could have. So we have Tudor, Rustic, Colonial, and Traditional. This will be four. The next is the type of building or the type of floor plan. So we have two-story ranch, two-story and split floor level plans. So this is three. So the total number of ways that a buyer could choose. So we have four times three and this will be equal to 12 ways and this will be our answer okay next so we have here if a 22 member club needs to elect a chair and a treasurer how many ways can these two be elected okay so we have here a problem in which we are going to uh, elect a member two members of a club into a chairman and a treasurer so we are going to find out in how many ways could uh, we elect those uh, for those two positions okay so solution so our first um, position to be elected is the chairman so that will be our n sub one so for the chairman we have how many members we could elect so we have 22 okay 22 members so that will be 22 ways now the second position will be for the position of treasurer and how many uh, how many members could we elect or could we uh, nominate so that is the, the correct term could we nominate for that position so because the the position of a chairman had been already been elected so therefore for the position of treasurer we have only now 21 members because that one member has been chosen for the position of chairman so in a certain club we could not have uh, as a certain person that could have two positions so if you are going to be elected for that position you cannot run for another position so that so that is the concept that we are going to apply in this problem so for the position of treasurer we have only and uh, we have only 21 members that we could elect it could go other way for example if for some cases that the uh, that a certain club decided to elect first the treasurer so for the position of the treasurer you have 22 members that could be nominated then after that one they will go back or they will now elect for a chairman then uh, still, uh, you have uh, the number of members that could be nominated is now only 21 because the one has been elected as treasurer so the number of ways that this that the position of chairman and treasurer can be elected from a 22 member club is n sub 1 times n sub 2 that is 22 times 21 and that will be equal to 462 ways okay so if you are going to have the sample point of this one the actual um, elements of the sample space then maybe you will have the uh, we, for example, we will get the all the names, the, the, the 22 names of the members of the club 
Then, for example, Jerry is elected as president. Then Mary for the sure. So we will have 22, uh, 462 different combinations on the ways we could elect the chair and the treasurer. Okay. So next. Now we have another rule. If an operation can be performed in n subways, and if for each of these a second operation can be performed in n sub two ways, and for each of the first two, a third operation can be performed in three in n sub three ways and so forth, then the sequence of operation can be performed in n sub one times n sub two that 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 n sub k ways so this is um a somewhat um hybrid rule for the multiplication rule so for example if you have n sub one could perform in n sub one way so that is the first event the second event can be performed also in another way or it is dependent to another event but the total number of choices you can have the total number of ways that those uh, that all of those events can be performed is given with this one so n sub 1 n sub 2 that 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 up to the last sequence that we are going to so the, or up to the last event that we are going to consider okay so we, maybe we should have an example for this one okay so sam is going to assemble a computer by himself so he has the choice of chips from two brands, a hard drive from four, uh, memory from three, and an, an accessory bundle from five local stores. So how many ways can Sam order the parts? Okay, so Sam is, uh, I believe he is a computer technician. So he has the choice of first the chips, so two brands. So, for example, that maybe that that is uh, one of those brand is um, Intel. The other one is IBM. I don't know, but you have two. Uh, some ha can choose from two different brands of chips or microchips. Then for from for the hard drives, we have we have a choice of four brands for the memory. We have a choice of three brands. Uh, bra and for the accessory bundles so maybe the cover the fan of the computer so he has a choice of buying that one from five local stores so how many ways can sam order the parts so how many ways could how many choices does he have to order or how how many combinations or how many um instances could he order the parts so maybe he will he will um, buy a certain brand for the chips certain brand for the drive the memory and order a certain store for the accessory bundle so that is the question for this example okay so we have here our solution okay so for the chips so the we have that one as so our n sub one so that will be two so we have two brands only so he has only two choices then for the hard drive so that will be n sub two so he has only four choices four brands uh, then for the memory n sub three so we have only three choices three brands only and for the accessory bundle from five local stores so that will be n sub four that will be five Okay, so our the number of ways could he order the parts? So that is the the multiplication rule of these five events. So we have two times four times three times five. Okay, so maybe now we will use our um, high tech calculator in this one. Okay, so we have 2 times 4 times 3 times, I believe I pushed them, 2 times 4 times 3 and times 5. 
this is equal to 120 ways okay so he has a choice of 120 ways so there are 120 ways he could order the parts of the computer that he will that he will go into assemble okay so we we'll proceed to another example so how many even four digit numbers can be formed from digits 0 1 2 5 6 and 9 if each digit can be used only once okay so we are going to find how many numbers four digit number that can be formed from this given digits 0 1 2 5 6 and 9 so even and because it is even the there is no repetition so if each digit can be only used as once okay so let's just first analyze this one solution okay so if we have a four digit number so four digit number so we have we will use four so we have n4 n2 so it's just n3 n2 and n sub 4 uh, n sub 1 sorry okay so for n sub 1 this will be our units place because we are four digit no this will be our tens this will be our hundreds so I just put here hundreds and this will be our thousands okay Okay, so that is how we are going to analyze this one. Okay, so four digit even. So even. If you are going to consider even, therefore your units place must be all even. So for the choices of even, we have only one, two, three. So three numbers that you could use to produce an even four digit number that will be zero two and six so basically you have here three choices then the other one because you don't have a you don't need to have a re repetition for this one so you have one two three four five six so the first one will be used for this one so you have here the how many that six so you have already deducted this one here so this will be now only five four and three but in case that the one here will be zero so you will be using here only two why because you cannot have a ones digit for um or the thousands uh, place for zero because it will now be only a three digit number so this is how we're going to analyze this one first but remember we could have really consider the thousands place so we need to have here the uh, uh different approach for our solution so first we will consider that our n1 okay so that is the first condition okay so we have here condition one our n1 is zero so zero so the position for the units place is zero so therefore our n1 will have only one choice that will be zero then we will go to n2 so n2 okay so sorry for that is not n2 but n4 so for n4 we will have so we will first consider the thousands because the thousands is mostly um mostly critical okay so n4 so n4 we have 
so we have already got the zero from n1 so we have here five then for n3 we have four and for n2 we have three okay so our first condition so our n4 times n3 so now we will form our four digit number so we have here five times four times three times one okay so using again our calculator so we have five times four times three times one so we have 60 okay so this is equal to 60 ways so that is for the first condition so we have 60 now for condition number two so our n1 is not equal to zero so we could use only two and six so for n1 we have two possible combinations for n4 so it is um we we will um eliminate zero so therefore we have only five choices for um n4 so that is one two five nine okay but our two and six could be used for n sub one so n sub one so therefore for example if two is being used for n sub one we we'll, we will now have only one five six and nine four the thousands place place or the n sub four so we have we will now have only four choices so the reason that is uh, this is not five because we will not consider zero the reason that it is four because the other one had been already been used for this one here okay so this will be four and our n sub um n sub three so because this is four could also have this one as four will include the zero and for n because this is not only the hundreds place and for n sub two so this 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 will now be equal to three so our combination here is n sub four n sub three n sub two okay so let's just write legibly our n n sub 3 n sub 2 and n sub 1 so this will be equal to um, 4 times 4 times 3 and times 2 okay so let's have our calculator so i believe i have a cover this one with the calculator okay so let's just calculate that one so we have 4 times 4 times 3 times 2 okay and this is equal to so this is equal to 96 ways and because these two conditions are mutually exclusive so the total number of ways for this one so, for example, we'll call this one as, um, let's have here this one as n sub a, and this one is n sub b. So, the total number of ways, we will have that one as a plus b. So, because they are mutually exclusive, or we cannot use plus because that will be a, uh, inclusive. So, n sub a b, so we have here n sub a plus n sub b so we have 60 plus 96 so we have so we have let's just have our calculator okay. So let's just um, put our calculator in its right place. So 60 plus 96. So we have 
156. So this is 156. Okay. So that will be our answer for this example. Okay. So that will be all for this video. And thank you for watching. And as always, have a good day.